I shouldn't have to say this, but don't follow wrestlers to their cars. Bianca Belair recently posted that as she left the airport, someone followed her into the garage and to her car and asked for an autograph. There are these things called boundaries. If you so happen to run into a wrestler in the airport, cool, but if you follow their flight schedule and pull up on them at the airport, that's just creepy. Wrestlers are just people too. If you want to meet them so badly, go to an autograph signing where they plan to meet people. In a recent interview with Metro, Elias said he came up with the Monday Night Messiah gimmick for himself. He was supposed to be a biblical cult leader, but WWE gave it to Seth Rollins. He didn't seem too bothered by it. He says that's just business. Someone else had this done to them as well. Brodus Clay claims that he came up with the Hall of Pain gimmick and WWE gave it to Mark Henry. But as far as Elias goes, I can understand why they would stay away from a biblical cult leader. That just seems like a PR nightmare waiting to happen. All you need is the wrong person to get offended by this, and then that's just going to be a PR nightmare. People used to have issue with The Undertaker when he used to be sacrificing people on his symbol, which was essentially a cross. And as far as WWE stealing ideas, when you suggest ideas to a big company and you still work for them, Technically, they own the ideas. It's messed up that they would give it to somebody else when you suggest it for yourself, but that's kind of just business. This was obviously under Vince McMahon watch. I would hope that Triple H would be less ruthless with things like this. At least give him a writer's credit or something. I don't know. Andrade responds to someone's tweet asking why are the Latinos always fighting each other? He said he asks himself the same question. I'm honestly asking myself the same question. The LWO storyline has been lackluster at best and they really aren't trying to move on from it. I hope this changes soon, but there are unconfirmed rumors that Andrade has been very vocal about his displeasure backstage about his creative. 80s wrestler slash valet Missy Hyatt claims that she and JR dated after JR wife passed. She says that they dated for two years and she rocked JR's world and he rocked hers. Sounds to me like JR be putting it down, huh? giving her that barbecue sauce, you know what I mean, the secret recipe. Oh, I just got visuals. Gable Stevenson has signed with the Buffalo Bills as defensive tackle. So what's the over under on him never appearing on field? If it's anything like his time in WWE, he's only going to be in practice and preseason games. I'm being an asshole, obviously. I hope he proves me wrong. He's an Olympic gold medalist for God's sake.